Welcome to Atopedia World. This is Miss Chas, and uh, this time we're going to learn about biotechnology. Actually, this is the first part of the topic about biotechnology, and this time we're going to learn about definition and also the ancient te biotechnology and modern technology. So, what is biotechnology? Biotechnology is a use of microorganisms animal or plant cells or their components to generate products and services useful to human being. It also application of biological organisms, system or processes to manufacture desired products. Again, biotechnology involves two things, cells and their components. We have two kinds of a biotechnology. The first one, we have the ancient biotechnology and the second one, we have the modern technology. Ancient biotechnology are recently times in 20th century and uh, biotechnology has been given and has advanced due to the discoveries in microbiology, genetic engineering, and biochemistry, and many more. Also, humans have been using microorganisms from thousands of years to obtain products like vinegar, wine, and bread. And usually process they're going to use was fermentation. This was discovered by people through prolonged sucking grains or by storing of fruits or plants or palms. Also, the first product result of this process is alcohol. Microorganisms were first used commercialized after First World War to produce some organic compound like citric acid. Citric acid is from any kind like orange, dalandan, and lemon, which produce this kind of component. Microorganisms were used to generate variety of products like antibiotics. And one example of antibiotics, we have the penicillin. Penicillin is antibiotic produced from fungus penicillum, after this, a number of plant and animal cells were cultured in vitro in test tubes to obtain number of viable products. All given process above in all biotechnology, only the natural capabilities of the cells or organisms were exploited. The genetic improvement of the organisms enhanced the level of production. For example, the yield of penicillin was enhanced by more than 1,000 times, but in this case, also though the yield was more, it was natural product produced by the organism. The next biotechnology part is the modern one. It is used for the advancement that occurred in the 20th century. This is also based on genetic engineering. In recent years, biotechnology makes us of the techniques of recombinant DNA technology, that was developed during 1970. Recombinant DNA technology involves combining of DNA from two different organisms and to, and to generate a recombinant DNA or RDNA. We have here two techniques in biotechnology. The one is the using natural microorganisms such as lactobacillus bacteria and yeast unicellular fungi. This Bacteria and fungi was include manufacturing of many products like cheese, yogurt, vinegar, wine, beer, cakes, bread, and, and so on. The next technique we have using genetically engineered organism. By using genetic engineering, specific genes can be introduced in the organisms and this genetically modified organisms or GMO called transgenic, can be made to produce a number of desired products like human insulin, vitamins, and enzymes. When you say genetic engineering, that is also called as recombinant DNA technology. In here, we have two processes to create recombinant DNA technology. First, we have the cutting or isolating. Isolating a segment of DNA or a desired gene with the help of the enzyme restriction and do nucleus. The second process, we have the joining or transferring this DNA or gene with the DNA of a different organism with the help of enzyme DNA ligase. 
As you can see in the feature, we have here the cutting process and the combining process to the other genes. Genetic engineering is also the organisms contain an artificial inserted gene known as a transgene and is known as transgenic organism. A transgenic organism is also called as GMO or genetically modified organism. As you can see in the image, we have here the applications of genetic engineering. The first one we have for the antibiotics, production of hormones, a variety of enzymes, and a number of vaccines like hepatitis vaccine, and to create transgenic plants with agronomically important traits such as disease resistance, and as well as tolerance to herbicides and other pesticides. And also, genetic engineering is to produce transgenic plants that can withstand adverse environment conditions such, such as salinity, drought, chilling, high temperature, heavy metal, and other ab abiotic stresses. And also, to delay flower cons consistency and fruit ripening. We also use biotechnology or transgenic organism by recombinant DNA technology or number of transgenic microorganisms, plants and animals have been produced which carry and express genes from other species. E. coli or Escheria coli was transgenic bacterium which one of the first transgenic organisms used to produce human insulin. As you can see in the image, it looks like octopus but this is the image of the E. coli. How transgenes work? It expresses in the form of proteins. We have here the DNA to RNA and to proteins. The proteins produced by the transgenes present in transgenic cells or organisms are called recombinant proteins. A number of valuable recombinant proteins are being produced by using transgenic microorganisms, plants, and animals. Also, the recombinant proteins cannot be naturally produced by the concerned cell or organism. They can be produced only if a transgen is introduced into them. So thank you for listening for the part one for biotechnology. I hope you're going to listen to the second part of biotechnology, which is involved for the application, how we can use biotechnology in medicine and industry. Thank you for listening to Pedia World.